Hazy IPA. Is it really? Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and today from Pit Head Brewing Company, which I have come to suspect is an Aldi uh, contractor of some sort. Let me know in the comments below if you have any idea. Um, I don't know. So far, the beers have been mediocre, and we'll see. But this is this one right here out of the variety pack. We have a, this is an empty box, but it is the variety pack that we're dealing with, and uh, this is the penultimate. Right. Yes, penultimate beer review from this, and who knows what order it will be edited. It does smell pretty good, and it does, it is hazy, and it's kind of foamy too. Wow, I poured that a little aggressively, I guess. Now, please forgive me, Stone, for putting this beer in your glass. And yes, I really do need to get some Stone beers. That's Levitation Ale. I don't know if they make that anymore, and review some stuff. And we get some Stone around here. Um... But back where my in-laws live in Richmond, it, it's there's a brewery there. So I actually visited last summer. It was awesome. So I think that was in May. It is the man, man, but we moved in May. It must have been April. Oh, it, it does have that fruity, citrusy, mango juiciness in on the aroma. So it holds a lot of promise. Do we have an IV? We don't have an IV, but it is. Oh, six, I thought that was an eight. I was getting excited. 6% alcohol. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Yeah, there's a bit more tropical than citrus. I think that's where the mango, passion fruit, things like that come in. Every once in a while, I get people who swear they get oranges instead of lemons. And banana, which I've never been able to pick out of these types of beers. There's another soon to be, no, he got away. I need to put one of those traps over here. One of the bathrooms doing a very good job. I don't know where these stupid things came from. We think it was the chickens. We had chickens inside them coming in and out, in and out. They're outside now. And my wife brought them in to this room a couple of times when they were little. I think that's what did it. Now we can't get rid of the stupid things. But, yeah. And um, I don't think they're going to lay eggs for another few more months. But, um... I can't get them to stay in the house. There's a chicken house. They go up in there. They just stand around. It's bizarre. But they're mostly protected right now. But um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of, of of hazy IPAs of the beers so far. So I did a review of the session in American. This is the best one so far. Definitely, definitely the best one so far. Um, I think it's a solid four. Believe it or not, it's got good head retention. Even in this this glass, which isn't great for head retention, the foam's small. Um, I'm not getting any any residual off flavors, maybe a tiny bit from the can, which does happen on occasion. Not every brewery uses lined cans to pre help prevent that. Um, I've definitely had better hazy IPAs, um, and this was Aldi. And uh, I think it's a solid four, four out of five. I mean, it's it, there's room for improvement. Um, what is that? It's also oh, it's just a floater in my eyeball. But it's good. I mean, it's got good coloring, kind of a pear juice color. I mean, it could be a little bit juicier. It could be a little bit... The haze is decent, um, but it could have a bit more more chewiness to it, which a lot of them do. It's almost like you, you have this <laughs> sensation to chew. It's almost like you're eating the fruit. So the, the fruit presences could be boosted. Um, it's almost like it's a session hazy IPA, if that will make sense. 
I would, I don't, I would normally say light, but a lot of people think when they hear light, they think diet. And it's like the, the flavors are toned down to where you would expect them to be from a craft brewer. And it might be because it's only 6%. You know, if you're getting 8, 9, 10, maybe you have them cranked up a little bit. It keeps the hot build down as well. It, it gets the job done for a hazy IPA, but it definitely has some room to grow. Um, but yeah, 4 out of 5 in, in my book. I think it's good. And so far, this is the best one from this brewery I've had. Um, that uh, it doesn't have too much off flavors. Again, this is why it, it feels like it's a, it's a contract brewer. So let me know, what do you think? Do you like, have you had the pit head, not pith head, um, well maybe it's pith head, uh, brewing it's hazy IPA, do you like it, not like it, it's better on draft, better in a bottle, I don't know, let me know, and we'll see you, goodbye.